This software has two interesting measurement tool. You can hold in your mouse here and you can see measurement tool and area measurement tool. Okay, for example, in this um, image, we have a room that I want to measurement. You have to know a distance between two objects in a real world. For example, I know this distance is maybe 50 centimeter. First, you have to deselect everything, select outside of document to see document settings. First, I prefer to change the document unit from pixel to something like centimeter or meter in this case, meter. And then the document uh, size change to meter. Then you can go simply to measurement tool and let's see, for example, from here to here is uh, measurement. Click and drag. You can hold and shift to uh, acting like this in the steps. And then you can release your mouse here. Unfortunately, the measurement tool is one. If you click and drag again, it disappears. Okay. Oh, I control Z because... I, uh, sorry for that. Uh, outside, I control it and change the document to the pixel again. Nice. Again, measurement tool. Again, click and the drag, hold and shift, and release the mouse. Well, as you can see, it's not very uh, proper distance. I have to uh, adopt it to the real world. I have to tell, okay. Uh, I need to do reference. I have to tell the software, okay, from this distance. So the, this distance is uh, half meter or 50 centimeter. To telling this uh, software, you can using a measurement uh, settings, drawing a scale. Don't use this because you uh, may be confused. Just assign drawing scale. Click it and tell the software exactly desired uh, read out or distance from this part. I tell it it's in meter and you can type M to apply meter. And as you can see, it's changing and the software change all of the scale of image proportionally to this. And then if you, for example, uh, take a centimeter to here, I actually, you can see uh, it's three meter uh, height and then you can measure all of the elements of the scene with the real world if you take a photo and know the distance to the measurement reference then you can uh, assign all of the <clears throat> part of your image and you can measurement uh, meant in real world it's nice that's it you can measurement in a pixel or something like this in a real world. Another example <clears throat> is something like this that you can measurement area. It's very easy. You can hold in your mouse here and we have drawing a scale. You can uh, use a full edge or a segment and then your uh, measurement appear here. You can just simply go to the disk and just click. And as you can see the area, Oh, this is on a pixel. <clears throat> First, click outside of your document to setting the document setting. And then you can go here and change it to the meter. And then go into the area again. And you hold, uh, you, as you can see, select tools and you can measure it very easy. Okay, again, selecting tool. <clears throat> First, uh, I have to <clears throat> like this, like example uh, that I explained you before. <clears throat> you have to know a reference. For example, I know <clears throat> the height of my bedroom, my, my bed is two meters, for example. 
sets your the unit of your document to the meter and measure from here to here tell the software this measurement is exactly two meter going here and tell the software okay here is in two meter and all of the parts of this uh, image will be proportionally changed to that for example i know from here to here is nine meter yeah it's right it's in oh i control z suddenly sorry for that again you have to uh oh cont if you hit ctrl z it ch change all of your settings to the original from here to meter again don't hit ctrl z like me <clears throat> click and drag from here holding shift select and here is a two meter and then all of the part of the image maybe it's changing its part uh, its dimension from here to the here yeah it's two meter everything is nice <clears throat> then i want to uh, measurement the area very simple you can use again this tool area i don't know it's a bug or something like that but we have to select the area that one then go in your most inside the area and just click and you can see the measurement here and the uh, area length of this if you don't need to that click again i have to fix i think you have to select area before i don't know it's a bug or not so i don't know yeah you have to select it before then uh, measurement it here and of course you can know the perimeter of your object i don't know why is this you have to select it then measurement it <laughs> okay perimeter and the area that's it it's very easy and and uh, if you want to just uh, uh, measurement a segment you can see just click and click and click you can select it if you if you want to click <clears throat> it, it has to be turned to the red it means it's measurement uh it's now it tells you the length of this segment to you if you change to the segment or the full edge if you change it to the full edge it gives you a full edge and it gives you area and the perimeter of this area if you want to know the just segment length if you click it again it's at this uh, measurement to the this segment hit select again to deselect everything red means it's measurementing that okay that's very easy you can see this uh, powerful measurement tool here hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.